Well, you know what I heard. <laughs> I think God and Moses both just have enormous respect for each other. Come live with me. White gladiator has that same way to prepare. Look, the judges are wrong. Even the Egyptian judges are wrong. Until recently, you claimed that the earth revolved around the sun. Welcome to History Bites. I'm Rick Green. Most Westerners don't know much about the history of ancient Japan beyond the samurai. Well, you can't blame folks for stopping there. Samurai are really interesting. The samurai era lasted almost a thousand years, and the most famous legend from that era was a true life story of bloody revenge. Forget your seven samurai, this story's got 47 samurai, freelance samurai known as Ronin. They avenged the death of their leader, a sort of feudal baron known as a daimyo. In the year 1703, these 47 samurai did something so audacious, playwrights and storytellers snapped the story up, and crowds never tired of hearing of it again and again. Well, who is the master of telling the same story again and again? Hollywood. So let's look at ancient Japan on our Sonys, Hitoshis, and Panasonics. I believe in the Shogun. The Shogun has always done all right by me. He commands our lives and, you know, we've got to obey him. So he sent me to deliver this humble request at your feet. In two weeks, the Shogun is entertaining these, uh, what you call, envoys, who bear New Year's greetings. He asks that you receive these envoys on his behalf, you know, as a sort of uh, favor to him. Why does he come to me with this request? Well, you know, uh, you're a respected daimyo. And the Shogun wishes you to show your loyalty, Don Asano. This I understand. Let us be frank here. Every other year he requires me, Don Asano, to stay here on his estate for 12 whole months. I leave for my own estate at the end of the year. He asks that I leave my wife and my, my family behind as hostages. This I do willingly, to demonstrate my loyalty to the Shogun. Now you come to me and you say, entertain these envoys. I'm a master of samurai, I'm not an expert in etiquette. I understand, Don Asano. So I've been instructed to offer you the services of Lord Kira. Lord Kira is the master of ceremonies at the Shogun's court and uh, can, you know, advise you on matters of uh, etiquette. I will perform this service for the Shogun as a gift on the day of my daughter's foot binding. Great! On special occasions, he switches to a black diaper. <laughs> Number seven, sprinkle salt on all four sides of the bed. Oh, my wife. Number six, eats his sushi right from the fishing net. <laughs> Number five, awkward moment when you run into his ex-girlfriend, lodged in his belly button. <laughs> ah. Number four, can't tell if he's hugging you or pushing you out of the ring. Number three, takes you to Mount Fuji for a picnic and you can't see the mountain. <laughs> and number two, keeps asking, uh, what's happening down there? Oh, you mean down there? And the number one sign your date may be a sumo wrestler. Enough love handles for ten women. There you go. In other news, a spectacular fire at a fireworks works in Kyoto has left six fireworks workers dead and thousands of local people entertained. Eyewitnesses describe the scene as... Oh! Ooh! Weaker Samurai! Hiroshi! What is the main characteristic of Mount Fuji? Hi. Satoru, what level of rank does a daimyo have in samurai culture? Hi. Kenzo, what kind of treason is punishable by death? Hi. Hiroshi, what greeting is denoted by the word konnichiwa? Hi. Correct. I can go visit this Lord Kira to get his advice on court etiquette. 
But word on the street is this Kira fellow is a pretty rude character. What do we do if he insults you, Don Asano? I will do what any daimyo would do if insulted. I will give him a vendetta. He can't refuse. Look, this is my prize fighting fish, Gundam. Gundam is tough. Bet my Gundam can beat up your fish. Lord Kira, I represent Don Asano. Yeah, whatever. Don Asano wishes to be instructed on the finer points of court etiquette. The Shogun wishes to appoint the host. Yeah, yeah, come on, kid, cut to the chase. Where's the bribe? Bribe? Yeah, you know, bribe. As in Mula, De Niro. Come on, let's see it. I'm the host that wants the most. We weren't aware that a bribe was necessary. You weren't aware? Hey, your boss of Santa isn't a daimyo. He's a dummyo. You know my prize fighting fish? Your boss isn't fit to lick its blowhole. Please excuse me. I must report this to my daimyo. Was this lovely snack from you? Yeah. Thanks. Pull up a cushion. You've had your snack. Now let me cut you some dessert. Yeah. Ow. Sayonara. Nothing good can come of this. Now, now right here in our stage, a spectacular mix of mime, music, melodrama, kabuki theater. And as you know, women were banned from acting in kabuki theater because of all the scandals and gossip and murders that went on. And so for many years now, the parts of women have been played by nubile, sweet young boys. And the number of scandals has gotten worse. And so, under the new imperial decree, grown men will be playing all of the roles in kabuki. They'll fill out all the women's parts. All right, settle down now. The Shogun feels that you should not have done what you done to Lord Kira. I cut up his fish. Hey, the fish we can live with. But is it not so that you also cut up Lord Kira? A small cut to teach him some manners. The Shogun feels that this violence and this drawing of weapons under his own roof and to his own chosen representatives smacks of a certain uh, disrespect. So he has sent you this package by way of making amends. It's a Shogunian message. It means that it's time for you to sleep with the cherry blossoms. One. Two. Daimyo, I came as fast as I could. Was she? You were always my favorite samurai. I just got word that the Shogun is commanding you to commit seppuku. Cherry Blossom special. Then we <laughs> die together! Hoo-ha! Yeah. there's something you have to do for me. I try to get out, but they keep pulling me back in! Lord Kira started this with his insults. But the Shogun... Isn't punishing you. You have to kill Kira for me. You for samurai. And the other 43 samurai in the hall. Yeah, you excuse me, I uh I have certain duties I have to perform now. Uh do you want me to uh No 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 I'm good I'm good <gasps> Nothing good can come from this.
through history, loads of people have gained fame for the way they killed other people. But the samurai were renowned for the way they killed themselves. The popular name for their suicide technique was Harry Carry, which means belly cutting. That was a little too explicit for the Japanese. They preferred the term seppuku, which means abdomen slicing. It's just, it's so much more civilized, isn't it? Seppuku was used by a samurai to save himself from dishonor. Talk about proving you had guts. Hi there, and welcome to Seppuku with Sue, the phone-in show where you learn everything you wanted to know about seppuku, but we're afraid to ask. We've got a caller on the line, a Saito from Osaka. Uh, yeah, hi, hi, Sue. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to ask, um, was this my first time doing seppuku? Well, that, that's okay, honey. When it comes to seppuku, it's always the first time, you know, unless you really mess up. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, anyway, what I was wondering was, um, does it hurt? Oh, uh, well, okay. I'll be honest with you, Saito. Uh, what you're doing is sticking something um, long and sharp inside you, so, yeah, it's probably going to hurt a little. Oh. But listen, Saito, it can also be a very magical um, experience, okay? You know, yeah. it's, it's going to hurt a little going in, but, uh -huh. but you're also going to feel so good knowing that you're about to join your ancestors. And what you'll experience is sort of like uh, a little explosion of honor. And it, it feels really good. So you hear it now, that was the Shinto sisters performing the tea ceremony. Very stirring. Then we gotta do something. We gotta mess this Kira guy up. Yeah, yeah. Using that soy sauce. Oh yeah, here you go, Sony. Okay, look, where do we stand? Do we have to worry about any other daimyos moving in in our territory or what? We don't have any territory, Oishi. Yeah. Here's the deal. The old man's dead, and the Shogun's confiscated all his property. He can't do that. Yeah, why couldn't you just let Don Asano's son take over? Don Asano's son lets us drink sake on the job and everything. The Shogun wanted to make an example of Don Asano, so that leaves us with no daimyo to serve, and no home neither. It's days like this. I wish I wasn't a samurai. You schmuck! Oh, hey, you hey, gotta hey, have hey, a master hey. to be a samurai. We ain't got no daimyo now. Hmm. That makes us ronin. What? You, you mean all of us? Even the 43 samurai at the kids' table? The other 43 ronin at the kids' table. All right, what about the churches? What's their position? The Shinto is just stirring up Shinto. And the Confucian scholars, they're just Confucian the issue as usual. And the Zen Buddhists, what are they doing? They wouldn't enlighten me. They'd give them the sound of one hand clapping? So now you're thinking, well, what are they? The 47 samurai or the 47 ronin? Well, the thing is, you could only be a samurai as long as you had a master. When these guys lost their daimyo, they became ronin, the samurai without a master. So they decided to just wait. The head ronin pretended to be a drunk. The other ronin just wandered around, killing nothing but time. But it was all just a ronin ruse. Because as far as they were concerned, they were still serving Lord Asano until they avenged his death. Now that's employee loyalty. All right, here's what we do. We wait. How long? Long as it takes. Lord Care's waiting for us to make a move, so we're not gonna do a thing. I'm gonna be spending all my time in sushi taverns, acting like a hopeless drunk. Yeah, <laughs> well, what about the rest of us? The rest of you guys can pretend to be a bunch of time-wasting idiots. Think you can do that? Yeah, that we can do. I think I could do that, yeah, yeah. We've been waiting a long time, and we still haven't killed Lord Kira. Shame's too great to go on living. hoo Oishi, we've got some news. <sighs> I try to get out, but they keep pulling me back in. Hey, Kira wants to meet with you. Your plan worked. He thinks you're a sake-holic. Where's the meeting taking place? A restaurant on the west side. Our people can plant a weapon for you in the washroom. 
While you're taking care of that Kira, that son of a geisha, the three of us will go to his estate and put his associates on ice. You three and the other 43 Ronin in the hall. Yeah. You managed to bank a truly dishonorable 5,000 Ren. But now it's time to find out. Whose mental sword needs sharpening? Whose code of honor is greater than his code of intelligence? It's time to vote on who you think is the weakest samurai. Hiroshi is the strongest samurai. He got all his questions correct and banked the most for the team. Statistically, Kenzo is the weakest link. He lost 10,000 ren for the team when he said that the name of the Emperor of Japan is Hai. All right, team, let's see your votes. I am the weakest samurai. I, am I do not deserve samurai. to continue this then game. I that I question brings shame and dishonor upon my family. I have dishonored my fellow warriors. <laughs> well, this is a little unusual. But it's votes that count. All three of you are the weakest samurai. Sayonara. Ah! Hi! Okay, Tanaka, listen, seppuku is a really big step, oh, okay? I, I know, that's what I told him. Okay, well, no one can pressure you into it, you know? Okay. Disemboweling yourself is a very special moment, okay? okay? Now, it has to be right for you. I, okay. No, no one can make you do it, okay? Okay, but what about... My daimyo said it's better if you use a really large sword. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what, Tanaka, that's just a myth. Oh, okay. We're in Japan, where clothing means class. Upper classes wear fabulous clothing, lower classes wear stuff from Kyoto Mart. But try telling that to people who are wearing clothing beyond their class. The nouveau riche merchants who spend their wealth on silk, satin, and brocade are in trouble with the law. Dressing up can get you a dressing down, as I found out when I spoke to Mr. Ito. The fashion industry is just shaking up the system. It's a protest against the repressive society that expects people to dress like slobs. But your radicals, today, they are making a statement. Shaking up the social order by wearing very expensive and tasteful cassoed. The government keeps making new laws, but you can't stop people from dressing sharp. So we're seeing a lot of bright colors, bold fabrics, ostentatious designs. Exactly. Moishi! Moishi yo-yo! Come on over! Hey, want some sake? I hear you really like the sake. Come on over and sake to me, baby. My name's Oishi Yoshio. Yeah, yeah. Gotta make sure you're not packing steel. Okay, kid, you're clean. Why did you request to see me, Lord Kira? Hey, you're a good kid. But those pals of yours, they're a bunch of roan income poops. I wouldn't put it past them to try to get back at me for what I did to their dimwit daimyo. Maybe you could talk to them for me. I probably could. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Is that okay? Yeah, that sake goes right through you, doesn't it? Go on. Occupied. Occupied. Oh, all right, all right, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh. Hey, who do you think you are? Ronin the Barbarian? Coming up, the Ronin Father, part three. After the Ronin had avenged their dead daimyo's honor by cutting off Lord Kira's head, they carried his head to their dead daimyo's grave. I guess they figured every grave needs a headstone. But now the leader of Japan's military, the Shogun, was forced to deal with what these 47 freelancers had done. And it was a real dilemma. I mean, they'd committed murder, so they had to be punished. But they'd also done their duty to their daimyo, so they should be honored. 
In the end, a win-win compromise was reached. The Ronin were given death and honor. Oishi Yoshio, I appear before you what you call invested with the authority of the Shogun. You may speak to me as you would speak to him. You and your fellow Ronin, you've been, uh, you know, charged with carrying out a vendetta against Lord Kira. For this, you are sentenced to commit seppuku. You and these three Ronin... And the other 43 Ronin in the hall. Right? Oishi Yoshio, do you swear that your vendetta has been an honorable one? I do, Shogun Father. Do you swear that you have upheld the Bushido, the way of the samurai, in all things? I do swear, Shogun Father. Do you swear that you have done your duty to your daimyo? I do, Shogun Father. Do you swear that your sword is your most precious and holy possession, and that it is not swords that kill people, but people with swords that kill people? I do so swear, Shogun Father. Oishi Yoshio. Wow. Do you renounce having a life of your own? I do renounce it, Shogun Father. Oishi Yoshio, you and your fellow Ronin are honorable samurai. You may now commit seppuku. Hoo-wah! I try to get out. This time they can't pull me back in. So much for a sequel. The 47 Ronin became heroes for the way they adhered strictly to the samurai code of honor, right to the bitter end, their bitter end. But the event was also a turning point for Japanese society. The shogun started to discourage such a strict and violent code of honor. Samurai were encouraged to find satisfaction in public service rather than public mayhem. Instead of the reward of seppuku, they were offered the reward of promotion. After all, Honorable vendettas were all well and good back in the nation's bloody past, but now Japan was becoming peaceful and prosperous. It didn't seem wise to have samurai still running around killing people to protect their honor. Gradually, the swordplay and suicide faded into Japanese history, and history bites. It really is true that size doesn't matter, okay? okay. It's all about the technique and speed. Oh, okay. Thanks, Stu. Okay, and Tanaka. Uh, yeah. Okay, be careful. Now, when, when you put that sword through you, it, right. it has to come out the other side, and you can hurt uh, someone else with it, okay? Okay. So use protection. Put out maybe a large um, plank of wood or uh, a big stone behind you. Okay, I, I'll okay. do that, Stu. Okay. Thanks. And always practice safe seppuku. Remember, the only body you want to penetrate is your own, okay? Mm -hmm.